Elijah Parrish Lovejoy was a man who held numerous titles. He was a teacher, an abolitionist, a minister, and a journalist. But above all, he was a man who strongly stood by his passions and beliefs. Lovejoy was born in Albion, Maine on November 8, 1802. He grew up in a crowded household with nine younger siblings and a reverend forefather. Because he was the oldest, Lovejoy was under a lot of pressure to stay dedicated to his faith, according to Freedom's Champion, a book by Paul Simon. After graduating from Waterville College, known today as Colby College, Lovejoy took a job as a school teacher in his home state. He quickly became bored and decided to move west, where he ended up as a successful school teacher in St. Louis. Lovejoy decided to make a career change two years later, becoming an editor for the St. Louis Times in 1830, according to Freedom's Champion. Like other journalists at the time, Lovejoy was determined and focused on writing about current events in the city. He also helped create local ads for business owners, including those that advertised slaves. What caused his writing to change was what Simon describes in his book as a depressing and moving event reported on by Lovejoy. The event that triggered his, his conversion to an absolute abolitionist was um, there was a man, a black man, who was accused of stealing something, and as they were pursuing him on the riverfront in downtown St. Louis, uh, he took a knife from one of his pursuers and stabbed the man to death. Um, the mob, the white mob, then chained him to a tree and burned him alive. And the man screamed and begged to be shot. He was, I mean, it was, and, wit and Lovejoy witnessed this. Reporting on this event made him stand out among other journalists because he took a strong stance against slavery in his writing. He focused his reporting on death, abuse, and violence put upon these individuals. With tensions on the rise, Lovejoy fled across the river to Alton, Illinois, to continue his reporting on slavery. As a result of this continuation, four of Lovejoy's printing presses were thrown into the river by angry mobs in St. Louis and Alton, Illinois, according to the Alton Museum of History and Art. Despite being part of the free states, many Altonians strongly disagreed with and were angered by Lovejoy's writing. While trying to defend his fourth printing press from another angry mob, Lovejoy was shot and killed. His death was reported on around the country with journalists and abolitionists labeling him as a martyr, according to the National Abolition Hall of Fame and Museum. His influence in the history of American journalism and the United States as a whole is unprecedented when it came to reporting on and fighting against slavery. According to the City of Alton's Convention and Visitors Bureau, a 17-foot-high memorial was created to remember Lovejoy for his actions as a journalist and abolitionist.